Hello my dear students and respected parents. I hope you are doing great. I'm Mr. Ja, class teacher of first grade in Kurtinia School. Today our lesson is about math. I'm gonna talk about comparing number. To start of learning, we are going to look at these symbols. We have three symbols to comparing number. Here we have symbols of greater than, less than, equal to. Instead of writing words, we use signs to compare in number. Look, this is the alligator. He is very hungry. He always eats the biggest number because he is so hungry. In math, we use signs for greater than and less than, like the alligator's mouth. The open end of the sign goes to the bigger number. The easy way to understand these symbols is to remember how we read. When we read a book, we read from left to right. We do the same when we compare in numbers. We start from the left to right and it helps us to know which symbols to use. Now, look at these two examples. Here, we have a group of five, and in the right side, we have a three. The alligator wants to eat five. Why? Because five is greater than three. So the alligator is so hungry, he don't want to eat three, he wants to eat five. So we will start from the left and we will say five is greater than three. Look at the next one. We have six circles and in the right side we have ten circles. The alligators want to eat ten circles. Why? Because he's very hungry. He don't want to eat six. He want to eat ten. Now we will start from the left and we will say six is less than ten. Here we have more examples. But first look at the alligator. He looks so hungry. Let's read it together. We will start from left. Eight is greater than five. Two is less than four. Nine is greater than eight. Fifteen is greater than ten. Twelve is less than 13. Let's talk about equal to. This sign is an equal sign and you've probably seen it before. If the numbers are the same, we use the equal sign. Look at these examples. The first one, we have 5 equal to 5. Why? because the left side and the right side are the same. Let's count together. One, two, three, four, five. The left side is five. And the right side, one, two, three, four, five. And the right side is also five. So we can say five equal to five. The other example is seven. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And the right side, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we can say seven equal to seven. The last one, we have ten. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
What about the right side? Let's count together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we can say ten equal to ten. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.